Indonesia, we're losing many students from the field of math and science. It's not just a localized problem, but a global one. So these subjects are generally perceived as dry and delivered as such. So our students are studying, but not learning. Since students are so engrossed in the use of digital media, let's not fight them. We might as well make use of the media that they like so much to teach them with. One of the ways is to replace the content of a role-playing game with um, something that is educational and acceptable to parents. Hence, uh, our chemistry game, ChemQuest Particles in Peril, was born. Chemistry was chosen to be the first subject to be developed. It is the most difficult of the sciences to explain as everything is happening at a molecular level. The reactions cannot be seen with the naked eye. The idea of chemistry is difficult to grasp as we depend on words to tell us what is happening. As strong advocates in the innovation of education, we want to create a disruption in the way sciences are being taught. So by gamifying chemistry, we get to push the boundaries of how education is delivered. The big picture is to enable students to see the creativity in science, to give them back the confidence to learn that learning chemistry is achievable, and to make this affordable and accessible to all Malaysian students. Okay, we started off with the um, chemistry team. Um, we have people who push for change in education. Then we had the narrative team, uh, they've created a lot, being able to bring chemistry to life by humanizing concepts. Then we have our art team who were able to create visuals that we found very endearing. Then we had our gameplay team who knew what was required to make the game and the learning addictive. ChemQuest is ready to be launched by the middle of 2014. It will be made available in the App Store and to our existing 4,000 students in our international schools, tuition and language centers.